In the past couple of weeks, I've received several requests to make a video showing all the different ways that you can use a feature called conditional display in Thrive Suite to enhance and make the presentation of your website more dynamic. There are an unlimited number of ways that you can use conditional display, so I can't even hope to scratch the surface. But in this video, we're going to look at five different ways that you can use conditional display to easily enhance the presentation of your website, increase conversions, and probably sales too. So let's jump in and take a look at some of these ways. One great use case for conditional display that I'm currently using is upselling existing students in one course into your membership or into another course, or upselling people who are taking a free module or free lesson, which I've done other videos about on this channel that you can, you can look up, but upgrading them or upselling them into your paid stuff. So here's an example. I have my Thrive Theme Builder Essentials course, and inside of my course, I have a lesson here, how to get started with Theme Builder uh, free training. And in this lesson, I give a lot of great like introductory information, but I have an entire course after that that people can unlock with over two dozen more lessons. Now inside of the content of this lesson, if we go over to edit and edit content, now we're editing the content inside of the lesson. And here I have just my featured video player and that's how it happens to display it when you're using Presto Player. But down here, which will appear right below the lesson, let me go ahead and show you what that looks like if I click preview. So here we have the video I was mentioning and then right below it, I just have some basic notes. Now, I don't know if you already caught that, but if we jump back, you can see that I have a section here that says upgrade to pro membership. And if you look at the lesson, I'm currently logged in and obviously a member of my own membership. So I have a different note jumping back where it says upgrade to pro membership. If I click onto this content box here, I'm giving a sales pitch. Essentially I'm saying, if you want the rest of this course, if you want to unlock, if you want to unlock all the lessons, uh, plus all of my other courses, click here to upgrade and you get all this other stuff too. So this is a section inside of my course, inside of my specific free lesson, that if you're not a member, I'm going to show you this promotion to get you to upsell, to get you to upgrade and become a paid member of my membership. So to do that, we just drop in a background section. This could be a content box, anything with conditional display. The default version of this conditional display shows the upgrade to pro membership content. However, I created another version called the pro version that just shows the information to those who are members of my course already. So actually, I'm not just promoting this to people that are taking this free lesson. I'm showing this to people who may not even have a membership at all in Convology Pro. So we have our not a pro member and our pro member sections. So the default display is pretty easy. You just build it and it's going to show. And then you just add another condition here. You can click add display and then make it look like whatever you want. Obviously mine's just simple text and then open up the conditions options here. So when this condition is true, when the user has access to my product, which is my membership, which they buy with Thrivecart, it's a subscription or there's a lifetime deal. Whenever they own that, they do not see the promotion anymore. They see the message. So I think that's a pretty terrific use of conditional display to put promotional materials, to put in upsells and upgrades inside of your free or your lower tier stuff to get people to upgrade, to show them an upgrade path while they're taking your content. Now, in this particular case, I put this inside of my lesson. However, this could have been inside of the template for the video lesson. So for example, you would go into settings and display, and maybe you insert a top section up here. Maybe you put a banner in and inside of that banner, you build the exact same thing. In this case, it would have been more horizontal rather than vertical, but I would have built it up in here and maybe put a promotional banner to upgrade. I felt this was a little bit less obtrusive and a little easier to just come in and make some edits to in the future. Another use case for conditional display is contact information during certain times of the day or certain days of the week, or even uh, times of the month. You can add and change your contact information. This would be really great for local businesses that are open on certain days of the week or have operating hours that differ on different days or things like that. And you want your customers to be able to reach you different ways depending on the date or the day or the time. We can do that by clicking on our content box or our block or our container and then going to conditional display and we can have a default one. Our default one could be when we're open or when we're closed and then we would just create a new version of our display and then open up our conditional display rules and then choose to select based off of time and date. For example, we can say day of the week and let's say that our business is open on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but we're closed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
So in this case, we could set up a filter so that on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we show one phone number. And while we're closed, we show another phone number, or we say our office is only open these days of the week. If you need to contact us on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, use this contact information. And we could also swap over to time as well. So on certain times, if it is between the hours of let's say 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. It's a standard operating hours in the, in the US. We can show one phone number and if we're closed, we can show another one. So you can have almost like compounding time and dates. We can add certain times and we can say, I want to do it only on certain days of the week. Another use case here might be if you had like a live chat widget on the side of your blog, or if you had something that you want people to interact with only when you're going to be able to be there actively able to respond. That might be a good use case as well, uh, in addition to store hours and contact information and things like that. Now this way of using conditional display might be familiar to you if you've been following my channel for any time at all, and that's using conditional display to really enhance a member dashboard login experience. So here's how I use conditional display to customize my dashboard. By default, my login page looks like this. A user lands here, they enter their username or email, their password, and they log in. Immediately upon logging in, they see this dashboard. And I have a whole video on how to build this exactly like this for yourself. So this was not two separate pages. This is actually one single page. Let me show you how I built that. I'm now editing this page using Thrive Architect and you can see by default, I'm once again seeing my login section. If I click on my background section, you'll notice that I'm using conditional display. And if I use my drop down, I can see my login form or my full page dashboard. And if I get rid of the sidebar here, you can see there it is, that's the dashboard. Now let me show you really quick how I did that. I have my default display, which is the login, right? This is what's going to show by default. And I have my dashboard version. My dashboard version has the condition set that when a user is logged in, this section gets shown. It's really just as simple as that. And to kind of take things up one more notch, we have conditional display throughout the entire dashboard. For example, in our welcome widget section, we have a little content box. If you're a pro member, you're going to see a pro member badge and it's going to tell whether or not the person's a pro member using, you guessed it, when a user has access to a product, my pro membership. There are several other places here that use conditional display, including if we scroll down, I have the option to book a coaching call and I offer one rate to members and one rate to non-members who may just have a course or a workshop and not my whole membership. One other place I use conditional display is up here in the header. If you're not a member of Convology Pro, you see the Convology logo. And if you are a member of Convology Pro, well, actually, let me show you this way. On the right-hand side, there's the little display conditions. If we open this up, we can see everything that's in play on our page. So in this case, I'm going to go to the logo swap section, and I'm gonna show you right there how it swaps over to Convology Pro. In case you missed that, let me just swap back and swap one more time. And there you go. That's how I've been able to customize the entire experience on my course login page and enhance my dashboard based solely on whether a user is logged in and whether or not they're a member. I know that a lot of you are like me and make nearly a full-time living from your blog. One really great use of conditional display is to show different offers, different lead magnets, or different information based on the category that your post is in. So in this example, I have a blog post all about using Thrive Apprentice as lead magnets. So perhaps this is in a category about generating leads. Now I'm editing the theme builder template for my standard post. That means every single blog post is going to have this exact template. There's a top section that has my little blue angular header section with a featured image and the title of the post and, and my name. And then at the bottom of the blog post, I have a bottom section that has a promotion. In this case, it's site-wide to join Convology Pro. Now, what if we wanted to swap out the content inside this bottom section so that it wasn't always a promotion for my membership, it could be a promotion for a particular download or a lead magnet relevant to the category of the blog post. So let's go ahead and build and see what that looks like. We would open up our element tray. We would go to something like a background section, I think is a good option. And we would drop it into our background section. And then we would stretch it to full width and we'd start editing. In this case, we'd probably want to include our current version of our bottom section inside of that background section. And we would go down to conditional display and have this be our default. So by default, we're gonna promote our membership. However, what if we had a really great lead magnet that would be in categories for posts all about 
lead magnets or generating leads and growing your business. In that case, we would add a display and then we would go to our conditional section here, add a new condition set. When the post or page category is equal to, and here's the categories on my site, find the one that would make the most sense. So in this case, maybe it's on posts categorized as grow your business. Now, whenever a post is in the category grow your business, this section here is going to show. So maybe I'll put a lead gen form or a, a button to a download or whatever it might be, whatever I'm promoting to just this blog category, I would put inside of this display section. And it doesn't have to be down here at the bottom. This could have been right at the top. This could have been a completely customized top section where based on the category of your post, you could show a completely custom top section. That might actually be a whole tip unto itself. So I'm gonna make a note of that and we'll cover that in the next video. Another really practical use case for conditional display is creating a customized or co-branded sales page for maybe a company you're working with or a special affiliate who might be sending you a lot of traffic or whenever you would want to customize a single page for each individual affiliate or partner or sponsor or whatever it might be and not have to create multiple different pages. So for example, we have a sales page here, maybe it's like a promotional page for your membership, and this would be my default. This would just be if people came to this page through my own funnels and they were going to browse it and wanna buy my membership. But let's say I had a special affiliate. So what I would do is I would come to my background section maybe at the top and I would duplicate this existing option to create a secondary display. And maybe I have an affiliate named Doug. So I would say, Doug Affiliate, that's what I would call it in my edit display name section down here. I would click on it, make sure it's highlighted orange, and then I would come in here and say, uh, welcome Doug's users, or I would say something like, welcome those who watch Doug's YouTube channel, or um, welcome Doug's audience. Maybe I would put Doug's logo on there. I would co-brand it so that people would feel like, oh yeah, I'm from Doug's audience. I'm on this sales page. This is speaking directly to me. This is a special deal that I'm getting. And you could change this text. You could fully customize this to say whatever you want to speak directly to this particular influencer or partner or sponsor's audience. Now, once you have your content designed exactly how you want it for this particular use case, you would go down to your display conditions. You would click on those. And then we have a choice on how we're going to bring people to this page. One example, if we select request data, we can say via a URL query string. So this is similar to, you, you see these all the time with affiliate links, right? Let's say my website was convology.com and I'm going to give Convology a special link to come to my sales page. And maybe it has like affiliate equals Convology. So when the key here would be, maybe it's affiliate ID, you've seen that a lot, equals Convology, that would be, that would mean whenever the URL was convology.com, question mark, affiliate ID equals Convology, then this version of my sales page would show. Another way to do that is when the referral is equal to a domain or a URL. So for example, if people were coming to this page from YouTube, you would say domain and you could enter in a domain name. You could say a URL and you could paste in a URL. You could use an asterisk for wildcards and you can show different versions of your sales and landing pages depending on the links that people clicked from other websites. So if people were coming from Facebook, if people were coming from YouTube, if people were coming from Twitter, you could create different campaigns on the exact same sales page, but customize it so that it would feel more in line with those partners or those brands. So if I wanted to show a version of this page for, we're gonna use the same example and say that Doug from Convology was our partner and I wanted to show a version of this sales page to those who are part of Doug's audience, I would say it's from slash slash www.convology.com. And then I would put a slash and an asterisk. That way, any link from convology.com shows this version of my sales page. And if I had a different sponsor that I wanted to show a different version of this page, I would just add another version of display and then I would create new display conditions. So in this example, we were customizing the header to reflect the affiliate or the partner that was sending traffic. We could have also come in and swapped out the sections that have sales buttons we could swap out sections that have prices. We could have sections that have bonus offers. So for example, if we had 
I don't know, let's say that this section right here was a bonus offer. We would click into the background section, add a display, and change it so that maybe this bonus offer was only shown to people who were coming in from a particular affiliates website or from a particular domain. I think that this has a lot of practical use cases and applications for a lot of different types of businesses. Hopefully that was helpful as an intro to five really basic, but I think quite robust ways in which you can use conditional display to enhance your website, enhance your membership site, enhance your courses, or as well your blog. Like I said at the beginning, there are probably a countless number of ways that you can use conditional display to achieve all these great dynamic things on your website. So I could not possibly cover all of them. But if you liked this video and you want to see more ways to use conditional display, definitely leave a comment, let me know, and I'll start working on another video with five more ways you can use conditional display.